Hey everybody, this is Dennis from DJ's Classic Garage. Yeah, a little current news from the automotive world. It's uh it's not it's it's not great. Uh so we're gonna start off today with uh the uh, EV grift because the EV grift just doesn't stop. It, it's amazing. And I have said in videos before that uh, Tabaris from Stellantis always is looking for a handout. You know, the guy's a billionaire, but he uses our money to help fund his horrible cars. And, uh, well, this just came out today, and wow. So the Biden administration to award a nearly $1.1 billion to Stellantis GM for EV production. The Biden administration plans to award General Motors and Chrysler parent Stellantis nearly $1.1 billion in grants to convert existing plants to build electric vehicles and components, it said on Thursday. The Department of Energy announced a $1.7 billion in planned grants to help fund the conversion of 11 at-risk plants in eight states to enable the production of 1 million EVs annually. Let me stop right there. All right. So in the real world, when your business makes garbage or you do things poorly, you should go out of business because that's the way reality works in a free market. This is nonsense. Uh, I, I'm, I'm befuddled by this. We're, we're basically giving overpaid UAW workers free money to have jobs for cars no one wants. They're going to build a billion, a billion, a million EVs, right, a, that, that they can't sell. I, I mean, it's just because you build it doesn't mean anybody's going to buy it. It's just going to be built. This is a, this boondoggle is costing. That's your that's my money. That's your money. That's not the automaker's money. That's the taxpayer's money. Or, or if even if you use a national debt, we're still responsible for it. So this is absurd. Where was this where, when when um, Rambler was going to go out of business or or Hudson or, or when, um, you know, when they wanted to get rid of Plymouth or, or when Oldsmobile got cut? Free money then to ensure that those companies kept them going. You know, Studebaker. No, no. But for this, this grift, the money just keeps on coming. Uh, Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm told reporters the awards were a hallmark of the Biden administration's industrial strategy and it would modernize historic automotive manufacturing facilities. Wow. I, I, I have almost no words for that. She said it's become clear that the decade ago, the automakers to embrace the future needed federal partners especially compete with other countries who are subsidized in their auto industries. And that's what the massive investment's all about. No. All right. So I noticed there was one company not mentioned here. It was Ford. Uh, Ford didn't take any government loans in 2008. So they're not on the hook to the, the government. GM stands for government motors and Stellantis. Well, they are a European company. So they're used to handouts. This is embarrassing that this is their thought process to make cars that you and I don't want. The awards are for plants in Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Georgia, Illinois, Indiana, Maryland, and Virginia, some of which are crucial in the November presidential election. Hmm, wonder why this is happening. Uh, let's see. Uh, President uh, Joe Biden has prodded U.S. automakers to assemble a rising number of EVs, introduce a new tax incentive, and funded EV charging stations. Regulators also is issued stricter emission rules that will boost EV sales. So pretty much what we, we got here is that even though you don't want these cars, we're going to try to force them upon you because that's the way life works. Yeah, that's the way they want things. It isn't that People are clamoring for this. No, this is basically a boondoggle. And um, let's just finish the article up, though. 
uh, go down on the bottom here. Don't keep up the Trump statement. General Motors received 500 million to convert Lansing Grand River Assembly Plant in Michigan to EVs at an unspecified future date. So they could back out because General Motors has been realizing that this is a bad idea. Uh, GM said it will make its own unspecified investment to produce EVs in Lansing in the future date, but said the plant will continue to produce Cadillac CT4 and CT5. Yes, because they make money with those cars. They don't lose $30,000, $40,000 a car when they sell these. They make money. Uh, and then uh, Stellantis with their $3.2 million battery plant. And $1.5 billion in a mid-sized truck factory that in the Belvedere plant, which has still been very um, up in the air. And um, yeah, so that whole Belvedere thing is all nonsense. So Lee, let's go back to the to the uh, Biden administration's making EV chargers. Remember, they make a big deal about that. So. E, uh, this is Institute for Energy Research. You can just do a managed search anywhere. E, EV charging station failure. So there was $7.5 billion. $7.5 billion. That's a lot of money. Like, you and I could not go through that money in a lifetime. We could try hard, but it would be almost impossible. And they built seven stations. Seven. Seven. This is your this is your government at work. This is this is your government at work. This this is where your money is going. So you gave a billion to two auto manufacturers that are in profit for profit that have shareholders that they pay money. They have executives that get hundreds of millions of dollars in pay and they get free money from you and I. And then you have seven point five billion dollars to make electric car chargers that no one wants, that no one needs. No one cares about. Why, why, why can't they pay $7 billion to get me a gas station right down the block for me? Uh, I, I, this is an utterly embarrassing situation at this point. I, I mean, honestly, there's nothing about this that makes any sense. And, you know, it, it, it's really to the point of absurdity with these, you know, these EV um, appliances, because they they serve no purpose. And, and honestly, in, in, in the bottom of this article, they're also going to give money to Volvo Group, which is owned. They're going to give money to Volvo Group right here, which is owned by the Chinese Chinese government. Two hundred eight million dollars. That, 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 that Volvo got bought by the Chinese it was a Geely. It's, it's a Chinese company. Okay. Um, yeah. This this boondoggle, this boondoggle is absolutely must end. It must end. I don't care how it ends. It just needs to end because it, have you priced a car lately? Well, let me clue you in why your car is so expensive now. It isn't because of any pandemic garbage or anything no it's because companies have to spend so much money on research for these things that no one wants that they can't make work well that they have to make the money up somewhere else they're wasting resources on these things to then have to then have to make the money up somewhere else to stay in business because these are just grants to Stellantis and General Motors Technically, they're supposed to pay them back. <laughs> but, you know, this is the thing. Like, Ford loses now. It's like 50000 or 60000 on every Mach-E. Every one of them, they lose sixty grand. We, but they, they have shareholders they have to give a payout to. Where are you going to make it up? Well, that's why a Bronco went up $10,000 in four years. That's why the base Bronco is gone. That's why a, 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 a Lariat... F-150 costs $65,000 now. Th this is why. And this, this insanity has to stop. We all pay for it twice. They take money. They steal from us with our taxes. And then they overcharge us for cars to try to make back the money for selling these things that no one wants, which these appliances that just don't do anything. 
I don't know. That's just my opinion. Let me hear yours down in the comments below because this is some really bizarre times we are living in. And as always, you know, thanks for watching and uh, give it a like if you if it was okay. You know, subscribe if you want to see a lot of stuff about old cars and some new car news and my insane love of cars. And uh, finally, if you have something cool or a classic, take it out because you'll make someone's day, maybe even your own. I'll catch you down the road.